Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be starting a brand new series uh, on a server that I have created recently called Redwood Roleplay. Uh, it's your average run-of-the-mill uh, 5M roleplay community. We've got uh, state police, you've got LSPD, fire department, uh, and so much more. Uh, and we basically record on here. It's a public server, you're welcome to join. The link is going to be in the description. Um, but yeah. We're out today with the uh, San Andreas State Troopers. Uh, there's a couple of LSPD guys on as well today. Um, and let's just see what we can get into. So firstly, we're going to get into the radio and just make sure that everybody is A-OK -okay in here. Uh, when we get out of this parking lot, we'll call ourselves 41-10-8. And then uh, we'll see you on the first call. Alpha 1, 41-10-8. Alrighty, we are 41 tonight. Available for calls. We'll see you on the first call. I am a bartender of the Yellow Jacket 3045. Uh, I was serving drinks when these two drunk men started fighting and breaking stuff. Uh, me, Nat, and the rest of the people are running away from the Yellow Jack. Show me 10, 20, 20. Uh, two other units are heading out there. We'll head out there as well. Uh, we're heading out to the Yellow Jack, so we're going to be heading across here. Just arriving on the scene. Let's go check him. Go ahead. Uh, Delta two two Delta eighty. Talk to that one that's walking towards you. Ten nine. Talk to that one that's walking towards you. Copy. I'm gonna bring him outside. Just in case if it's another fight. Hey. He's walking back in. Hey, jumper man. Sir, Jump. Over here. Okay. Just, sir. Here we go. Sir. Come over here. Just for this. Hey, sir, do you hear me? Get him in cuffs. Get him in cuffs. Uh, I don't okay. feel too good, man. Yeah, I, I can see that. Don't feel too good. Stop. Stop moving. Uh, We're gonna go outside for now. Man, I, I, I just, I'm just here drinking, and, and this guy came up to me and said the Chiefs are better. I mean, like, come on. We the Chiefs? Do I take it there's some sort of football game playing today? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what are you doing with the Yellowjack today? Are you just ha chilling out, having a drink? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, I've had a couple drinks. Okay. And how did you get here today? Uh, my, my truck over there. Okay. So you weren't planning on, uh, driving yeah, home today, were you? Uh, yeah, how, how else would I get home? I mean, you said that you've already been drinking, so I would hope that you wouldn't be driving. Uh, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. So, what, what provoked this? You said it was something about a Chiefs game? Uh, yeah, he, he told me that the Chiefs were better, and I said no. And then he started punching me. Right. Okay. Sir, what's you your idea? name, sir? Bob. Uh, Bob what? I, I don't gotta tell you that. Right, sir, this time we have the right to Sir, do you, yeah, do you wanna give me your ID, sir? Court of law. 
You have the right to an attorney. Why do I gotta give you my ID? Because uh, you're right just involved in an incident. We obviously need to make an incident report about it. Um, so you, you do need to provide us your uh, identification and identify it up to us. Okay, well, let me just get it from my truck. You're not gonna be foolish and drive off, are you, sir? Uh, why, why would I do that? <laughs> Many people are foolish, sir. Just making sure that you're not one of them. Yeah, we got any guns, knives, bombs, weapons, or anything inside of the vehicle? Wait, th this, there's a bomb? What? No, no. Th there's I'm a bomb? Asking, I'm asking you. Do you have one? Oh no, no. Okay, I just do me a favor bombs. and don't don't reach for the uh, axe that's on the back of the truck as well, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I no, won't. No, no. uh, so sir. Okay. So I'm trying to open the door. Hey, hey hang on. Negative, your mind. I, I mean, you're not that not drunk enough to, <laughs> sir. He's, he's... Well, that, that was a complete accident. Hang on. Okay. To... We'll get there eventually, sir, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm kind of confused right now. Okay, uh, here, here's my ID. Uh, hang okay. on. Do you want to hand that to me? Alright, Mr. Bob Love. 13th of the 1st, 1980. Let me go ring you through our system, sir, and I'll be up back with you in a second. Hang out with my colleague for now. Alrighty, so his name is Bob Young, so we're going to go run him through our MDT system, or CAD system, and see if he's got any priors. Oh. mistyped it. So he is a Caucasian male. He's unemployed at present. He's got a revoked driving, suspended weapons, and he's... is that a green truck over there? I would say that's green. And that's got a suspended, reg uh, expired registration. Uh, oh, expired insurance as well. Let's go have a chat with him. So he's got a couple of uh, driving infractions. We haven't actually seen him drive, so it can't go. Alrighty, sir. Mr. Love? Yeah? Okay. So, you're not exactly the cleanest of uh, cleans, are you? Uh, no. Alright, so the part where you said earlier that you uh, drove here. No, no, man. My, my uncle drove me here. Okay, that, well, that, that's good because you got a revoked driving license. Uh, I thought I got. And the also, you've got no insurance. You've also got no insurance in the truck. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my uncle's truck. Right, but he doesn't have either you or he, the, whoever owns the vehicle. Oh, here, there's okay. no physical okay. insurance that's on that vehicle. You're gonna go talk with the guy. In the oh, car? well, I guess I'm gonna talk to him about that. Right, but you're the you're the registered owner, sir. No, no, it's it's, it's my uncle's truck. Uncle's okay, truck. It, it may be your uncle's truck. He may be the one that's in charge of that vehicle. However, the vehicle is registered to yourself. Huh. Okay. So, in other words, one warning for you: if we see that vehicle on the roadway, it is going to get impounded. Okay. All vehicles on the roads of San Andreas are required by law to have a valid registration, valid insurance, and you must be able to prove those things to a law enforcement officer as and when required. Okay, I'll just take that car over there. It should, it should work fine. Well, you've already identified to us, sir, that you've had a drink today. Uh, so, I've had a couple, yes. Yeah, so you will probably either close to... You're already stumbling... So you're already close to, if not over, the legal limit. Would you like to um, give us a breath sample? Uh, no. Uh, I have okay. a pretty high uh, alcohol tolerance. 
Alright, well, I can't force you to, because I haven't seen you commit any uh, driving offences. However, again, very similar to the insurance part, if we do see you driving a vehicle, you will be subject to a roadside breath test, and you w you may be prosecuted for that. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. So, in terms of the um, assault here, because that's the main reason why we're here, are you wanting to press charges on him? Like, what what's the deal? Uh, I mean, he likes the Chiefs. I mean, that, that's kind of, I mean, you, you, you yeah, kind of know. Let me, let, me put uh, it, let, let me put it a different way. I'm not going to arrest somebody because of the, their choice in football teams. What I am willing to arrest somebody or press charges against is if you are wanting to take action against him punching you. However, I must tell, inform you that when we go check the CCTV of inside of the Yellow Jack, if you are the one that is throwing the first punch, you will also be coming with us. He he, he punched me? I, I don't remember that. He he did punch you, sir. Oh, uh, I don't remember that, actually. Um, I don't even remember why I'm here. I, I just remember having a couple drinks. Um, well, well ha have a nice day. Uh, I'm just going to walk home. Um... Okay, it's so, kind of far. so you're saying that you don't want to press any charges, you don't want this to be continued? Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just, sir, just hang tight for me. I'm going to have an officer take you down to the hospital, because you are starting to kind of stumble around and slur your words a little. Um, and then, I, I, don't uh, need no, I, I don't need the hospital. I, I so, can't afford to pay the I, bills, man. I, I mean, it's a free visit, so... Here, here's your ID back, anyway, just so I can get rid of it. Uh, whose car did he say this is? Uh, it's his. We've established it. He's got no insurance and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, because I also, uh, the other person also ran his ID, his driver's license, and insurance for whatever car he has is also suspended and, in, uh, and insurance is also, uh, yeah. outdated. Um, so he doesn't want to press any charges against the other person, so I guess that if neither of them want to make a reporting party, then uh, the other guys could be free to go. Uh, however, somebody needs to take this guy to the hospital. I, I can't yeah, go to the hospital, I, man. I think we'll have Brennan take him to the hospital too, because I hear him back there opening and closing the door. I think he might could get checked out. Okay. All right, sir. Do you want to follow me over to the uh, police car? We'll get the other guy out of the car and. Uh gets you to go to the hospital and check out. It, it, it's charger over here. Sir? Uh, yeah. Obviously, I can't force um, you to go to the hospital. It is simply a recommendation. I can go to the hospital. I, I can drive myself. I'll just take this you're, car you're, over here. You're not going to be driving, sir. Uh, you're why? unfit to be driving. You've had uh, a bump over the head. You've uh, had I'm pretty fit, drink. actually. Um. Okay, let me put it three ways. Option number one, you well, that's walk home. a nice home. car over there. Sir? Option number one is that you walk home and you go to bed, sleep this off. Option number two is that you get a free ride down to the hospital, get checked out by the doctors down there, have a clean bill of health, and go home and sleep it off. Or, option three is going to be you getting into that car, driving onto a public road, we'll pull you over, we'll do a breath test, we will arrest you, and you'll spend the night in cells and go to court in the morning. It's your choice. I mean, that's a nice car. Uh, it may be a nice car, however it is not, is it a nice enough car for you to end up going to jail over? <clears throat> I'll just walk home. Okay, so you're just wanting to go home. You don't want medical attention or anything. Yeah, I don't need no hospital. I'm okay. good. In that case, we'll make a follow-up call. We'll have a we'll have a deputy come around to your house later on today or tomorrow to make to do a welfare check on you, just to make sure you you no, got home no, safely. No, no, no. I don't want any officers at my house. Okay. Well, I'm still going to insist on that. So we'll do a welfare check with you later. Uh, but apart from that, and if you don't want any further assistance, then you're free to leave. Okay. 
However, this truck is staying here. He doesn't want any help, so... All right, we'll we'll yeah, send we an got... officer around to his house a little bit later and just check on him, just to make sure he got All right, him yeah, uh, I have Brennan here and given, getting out of the lockbox. Just got his key, wallet, and all that. Uh, uh, yeah. This guy, yeah. I also, uh, what I, what I also saw on this guy's record is he has an AR and a pistol registered to him. Okay. So. Where's he going? I just don't want him like falling over or something into the road. He's not in his car, I can tell you that. Yeah, I just don't want him falling over and landing in, into the road or anything. Yeah, so. I, I didn't see where he walked off to, so... Oh, yeah. Alrighty, but yeah, if this guy's free to leave, uh, obviously give him a stern talking to regarding the whole assaulting somebody. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I'll head off back to Nick and see you guys around. Yeah, you, you're free to go. I mean... No worries. Alpha one, you chief. Back to Nick. Alrighty, so that was uh, our first call of the night, which was an assault. Um, none of the parties want to make a complaint, so they're both free to go. Um, and we'll send a welfare check around to Mr. Love's house a little bit later, just to uh, make sure he got home safely. And uh, yeah. That's us done with that call. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Alrighty, so there was just another long call about putting a body in the trash. Alpha one, did anyone have a pulse call in the latest number one? That would be Pull code eight. Three zero four three. Three zero. Uh, what is what was the latest number one? Did anybody see? Three zero. I did not see the full detail. It was just said, "Oh my god, oh my god." Uh, latest number one was regarding a body being exposed on the trash can. Alpha one, show me some. Alright, so this call is supposedly somebody is disposing of a body um, in a trash can of some sort. So we're gonna go in on a kind of like a silent approach. Um, just so obviously we don't speak anybody. I believe there's already an officer already on the scene. Alright, so we go back to the moment. Alpha 123. Delta 123. Hey, it's Mr. Love. Hey, it's, 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 Mr. It's Love, we meet again. Is this is your check in? Because uh, I'm fine. Uh, it's not about our check in, but uh, we need to come onto your property and have a look around, sir. Uh, no, you don't. Um, you said you would you would come check in. Uh, I cleaned my house up pretty nice. I made, I made it look pretty well, nice for you guys. Uh, yeah, well, uh, we at, at, the yeah. at the moment, uh, we've got a concerned citizen. We have citizen a that's, probable cause. Yeah, we've had cause. a concerned citizen call in, uh, so we're going to have to insist on coming onto the property, sir. Yeah, and... Uh, no, 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 we, no you, you can't do that, man. No, no, yes, we can. no, stop. Get hey, uh -huh. probable no, cause, sir. No. Sir, no. if you if you just want to turn around for us, we're just gonna place you. Sir, no. We're just gonna detain no. you for now. No. Delta, dude, he's gonna be taken off from us at this time. He's gonna be running around. It is going to be uh. Never mind. He is going 
Oh, all, all the way black uh, pants, Sir, black shirt with a uh, white shirt under it. Looks like gray Mr. shoes. Jesus. I thought I got one of the other officers then. Sir? Sir, stop running. Oh, what is it left? Change over to a gun for now, just in case he pulls anything. Awesome. Now for one one detained. Now we're gonna conduct a uh, property search and see. Neighbor did report that they saw trash bags or a trash can. So uh, we're gonna have a little look around and see. Something's definitely obscene that he just ran yeah. from us. Yeah. Oh, here's his trash cans. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure you got gloves. Oh, you've already got gloves on. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Now, um, isn't the saying females go ladies first? Do you you, you want to search the trash can? Yes, I can. Well, the saying is uh, ladies first. So uh, the other saying, of course, is uh, ladies first, but men just before. But of course, obviously, you and your uh, blue gloves will let you crawl through the uh, trash and see what's up, see what you can find. Once you're doing that, I'm gonna have a little, help, little look around. I mean, this house is sort of, it's on the same parcel, so I don't know if it's part of the same property. But, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Just gonna have a little look around and see if we Go can ahead. see anything. Had a razor blade and also a owl full of blood on him. I put both of those in evidence bags. A towel of blood? And we're put those in your lock box in the back of your car. Alrighty, sir. So I believe my colleague is still having a little look around your property, seeing what we can try to try and find. But uh, whilst uh, she's having a look around, is there anything on the property that we should be aware of? Uh, no. Why? Are you sure? Because you sort of sounding not so. How shall I put it? Uh, I am one hundred percent positive that there is nothing on this property that will hurt or harm anybody. Except the gas cans. Not Don't touch quite those. on about harming someone, sir. More on about anything in general that maybe shouldn't be on the property. Uh. No? Alright, well, my colleague found bloody rags on you, so. Well, yeah, 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 man. On my way home, I was walking home and I, and I fell and I hit the sidewalk, but uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I also found a razor blade on you. What's that? Uh, I have a scary razor blade on me. It's a pretty handy tool. Well, when it has blood on it, I highly doubt. It's probably from the towel that was in the same pocket, man. Alrighty. I gotta close my trunks. 
hands. But we can we can still get them with uh trying to run from us. I mean, yeah, if you guys think you've got a strong enough case against it. Then um, yeah, isn't on. that his truck? Yeah. I believe so. That's that this guy's truck. Yeah. No, uh, that, that's my uncle's truck, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I see it over there. Uh, Alpha 1, I'm gonna go over and make contact. Henford, I'm gonna go over there with you. What do you guys want the charges on this guy just being innovating? Put off on taking him and until we figure out what's really going on here. Yeah, okay. Alpha one, I think he's taking off from me. And for he's going to the LSPD car over on the other side towards it for at least. He's going back the other way. Never mind, he's in the yep, he's in the back. Yeah, he's gonna be taken off from us at this time. It seems like. Sir, do me a favor, turn off the car. Do me a favor, turn off the car. And sir, you're gonna have to talk a lot louder because you got your window and your engine. What's going on? There you go, but you, 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 can you turn off the engine? And the what? window? No, okay. okay. You, okay, uh, sir, where where are you going with the truck? So what truck? My truck. Uh, I mean, this truck is awfully familiar. It's the one that we stopped earlier. And it's my truck. Nine five six. Was this stolen earlier? Ah, uh, it's not the truck. I, I have his plate locked in my uh, system. Can I talk to you? Yeah. It's a different truck. It is? Yeah, it's a different license plate. Okay, it just looks the exact same, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, same it, color, it looks, same everything. Yeah, it looks the exact same. Uh, the other one that I've just realized, I can't remember if this was on the, there earlier, or whether maybe the DMV's put it on since. But uh, Mr. Love's truck is actually marked as stolen. Hmm. But he was in possession okay. of it earlier. Yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and run in the plates on this one and see what comes back with this one then. And because yeah. uh, it could be the same truck. He always, he could have always just changed the license plates on it. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let you do the... I'll let you carry on with the uh, traffic stuff here. I'll just back you up. So we are going to pull up behind her. So, uh, and we'll just provide support for her. Um, let her carry on with the traffic stop. So, uh, identical vehicle, uh, plate. Uh, I can't remember if, if we checked the plate earlier. I just searched the plates. I got nothing coming back. Like, the plates aren't in our system okay so it's unregistered yeah yeah so that's i mean it's a citation uh unless of course you can prove that the vehicle is the same vehicle as mr loves um yeah do we record uh, the vin uh, does the dmv give us the vin numbers i don't believe so oh go ahead and check because i know the yeah, I know it doesn't give us the, the VIN numbers, so... Yeah, I know they give us serial numbers for guns, just I don't think uh, serial num or VIN yeah. numbers. So, I mean, unless, of course, you actually have probable cause that this is Mr. Love's vehicle, there really isn't much we can do. Technically, it's okay, not committed so... any traffic offences, so we can't so really... I... 
Yeah, uh, one thing I think is, uh, you want to head back to Yellow Jack, see if Mr. Love's truck is there. Sure. Sure. Yeah, no worries, I'll head over. Yeah, head back. Because, uh, if it's not, then it, this possibly could be it. Yeah, no worries, I'll go run over. Alrighty, so we're gonna head over to Yellow Jack and go see if Mr. Love's vehicle is still there. And if it is, double check the plank. Um... Yeah, that's something I didn't check earlier. Um, so, I'll have a look at it. We're only in half a mile away, so, go and have a quick look. And go on from there. Alpha 1, Delta 2. 10 4, go ahead. Uh, 23 at Yellow Jack. The truck is not going to be here. However, the other civilian who was involved with the bar fight, uh, his vehicle is still presently here. And for yeah, I'm at, I asked him some questions. He's saying he just bought the car and that he wasn't able to register it, but looking at the plate, that is a custom plate. It's, so that's got to be to some vehicle. Sanford, do you have a name for that person? Uh, the person, I, I searched up his ID, his name is Jake Diaz. This, the only car that came back is the uh, uh, Mustang. Yeah, 10 -4, that's going to be the same person that was in the bar fight with him. Alrighty, we're going to hang out with this vehicle for a moment or so. Um, and just see what's up with that. And then we're gonna have to go get some fuel because we are nearly out. Delta two two Alpha one. I can confirm this is Jake Diaz. Says that I'm talking to. He said he went down to took an Uber to the RV store. That he said there's a yard sale there. That's where he bought this truck at. Uh, ten four timelines don't exactly match up because we were no more than ten minutes away from the yellow jack. Uh, last call when this new call came in, so I'm not too sure how it got from yellow jack to RV store to then being sold and then over to him. Yeah, because they would have had it registered. They would have handed the registration over to him. Um, and this vehicle isn't registered at all. So, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, what do you want to do here? Um, I would say for now, possibly impound the vehicle, uh, just so then we can conduct a further investigation regarding it. Um, and then, uh, just send him on his way. Ten four. Well, I'm. We still got Mr. Love at scene. I'm gonna go ask him if he remembers what his plates were, for, and see what's up with that. Uh, Ten four. Before I ask him to step out. All right. Let's go get some fuel, uh, just in case anything happens. He does not remember his plates at all, so I'll, I'll go ahead and ask uh, Mr. Diaz here to step out so we can conduct a further investigation. Delta uh, to do Alpha 1, can I get you down here just in case it doesn't go smooth and he takes off? Yeah, it's for a currently refueling vehicle, but I'll be over there shortly. It's starting to sound like it may turn out to be a pursuit after all. Delta two, do you just want me to take my suspect down to Now last and time they were heading, ahead. they were facing towards take Sandy, them. so... First lane and evading, what are we gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'll he go did take the long way them, via but... Sandy. Okay. Just in case he does take off, and I'll be in a somewhat of a correct uh, position to be to able to somewhat cut him off. Oh. Oh. He's taking off. Uh, 
taken off from us. Output oh, well, actually 1080 with a uplifted green and color four door uh, pickup truck. We're going to be heading a right onto Smoke Tree Road, postal 3044, heading westbound. We're we'll going to be heading out towards the Sandy Airport present. And we're taking a further right onto Chola Road, 3040. Now we go to secondary will be taking call out. We're going to be taking a right, right, right. Right so on she's going to be taking some commentary drive. If we're going to be going to the train track, taking another right on to Josh Road. So we're going to be heading out to the town to be stuck for the everybody. Oh, we're on the so same high with the corner vehicles, keeping up with the vehicle. Uh, we're going to be passing the this turn into Sandy. We're going to be continuing down to Josh Road near Coastal 3010. going to be taking a snap at this time I'm on to Surview Road, road going behind the fire station. Oh, vehicles just had a minor 1050 with a stationary sign. 104, we're going to be entering great speed at this time. 1050, 1050. Uh, 1050. him giving up. Driver. Mr. Diaz. If you can hear us, just say something. Okay. Mr. Diaz, I need you to step out of the vehicle for me. Okay, well we can talk about you not going back to jail, but you do need to step out of the vehicle for us to be able to have that conversation. Alright, but you do need to step out of the vehicle, sir. That's that's non-negotiable. We're gonna have uh, Mr. Diaz here at gunpoint on Survey Road near Postal 2031. Sir, what are you doing? He's out. At the 1070. Sir, stop running. Sir, I will take you. Stop running right now. I'm running yeah. jail. Sir. Uh, we're gonna be on an at the 1070 at this time, heading into the Trying to punch him on the ground. Where is he guy? Oh. Copy, don't take any interrupt. Suspects down. Suspects in custody. I'll go get my car for a medical bag. Yeah, no worries. Hey, sir, can you hear me? Suspects going to be down at um, Great Sea Hey, sir, how's it going? Oh, my head hurts. Alrighty. Well, we'll uh, we'll get you stopped off at the medical center to get checked out for that. Just before I search you, sir, is there anything on you that I should be aware of? Any gun-sized bombs gonna stick or pike me? Uh, I got a gun. You got a gun? Where's the gun? It's in my back. It's in your back. Okay, I'm going to, uh, if you want to lean forward for me, I'm going to take I'm going to take that away from you, just so you've got no access to that. Okay, whether you got a concealed carry or not, you, when you were on the traffic stop, you should have told us about that. Okay, so I'm going to take that firearm away from you. Hey, Brennan, can you take this firearm and clear it? Here's the. Here's the medical bag. Awesome. Sir, where, where, where's your injuries? Where does it hurt? Uh, my head. Your head? Alright, well, I don't see any sign of bleeding at the moment, so it might just be that you might just get a bruise or something. You didn't exactly fall far. So, uh... Apart from your head, does anything else hurt? Uh, no. 
Okay. All right. Well, we'll get you up in a second. We'll properly search you. Uh, we'll get you in one of these cars and get you taken off to the medical center. We'll get you checked and cleared by the doctors, and then we'll get you taken down to Sandy PD. How does that sound? Probably doesn't sound the best if I'm totally honest, but uh, unfortunately you signed your own death certificate. Uh, your own warrant, not death certificate. That was the wrong thing to say. Alright, if you want to stand up for me, sir. Just going to hold on to your arm just to support you as you get up. Awesome. Right, sir, just before I uh, put you in one of these vehicles, I'm going to be searching you. Is there anything on you that I should be aware of? Any guns, nice bombs, get stick or pipe me? Um, no. No? Nothing? Are you sure? No. Nothing. Okay. We're gonna have a quick search of him and then we'll put him into the Explorer. I'm gonna really search him and then I'll put him into your car because it's bigger. Alrighty. Alrighty, I'm just gonna have a look. A little fuel down your pants. There we go. So we've got your phone. Uh, what's this? Uh, your keys and a wallet. Awesome. No worries, sir. I'm going to pop you inside of this car. Mind your head as you get in. And uh, we'll get you off to Sunny Medical, okay? Alrighty. He's all yours. And I'll see you down at Medical. Yeah, don't forget to call a tow for the truck back there. Yeah, no worries. Brennan could have at least taken me. <laughs> I'll take a... That little run back. Okay, oh, you show me 10 6. It's uh, 1 10 15. Do you stand the medical? Oh, 2. How are we doing? Just searching the car. Awesome. I also have his gun in my lockbox. Yeah, no worries. Whenever you get this, I can just uh, run it through the MDT and just see if it's registered. Let's get my car out of the road. Just so it doesn't annoy anybody. Hey, you good here if I start heading down to the hospital? Yep, good. Awesome. Alright, we'll go join uh, the other officer that's down at the hospital, just in case the guy tries anything. She has a single crew unit. and all that he's getting checked yeah no worries once he get, gets that done i'm gonna go have a look at the uh charges and uh then just yeah, give, me, uh, give me a shot when you're about to head down to pd did he sound like he was drunk or at, at all when you were talking to him uh no just injured okay well it's a felony need to run from us anyway so that weapons license he's not about to have a weapons license so yeah that's fine. Yep. So, want her car. I uh, want this car. Alright, let's have a quick look through our penal codes and see what we can give him. Alrighty. So, they are heading down to the station now. So, we're going to go down to the station and uh, go and charge our suspect. There we go. I thought the gables were going to work then. Ow, 
for one arrival at uh, PD. Let's go say hi to him. Just yeah. remind me of his name again. Uh, Jake Diaz. Awesome. Yeah. Let's just quickly familiarize ourselves with him. Everybody else has ran him. Righty, sir. Just so make was sure. running from us really worth Suspended it? Suspended drivers. Yeah. Uh -oh. I, I'm... We're about to give him a felony charge, so I'm not going to worry too much regarding the suspended driving. We didn't see him driving this vehicle, so we can't do too much about that. So. Well, Alrighty. Hope it okay. was worth it for you, sir. Have a good time. <laughs> Alrighty, Mr. Jake Diaz. Mr. Diaz, alrighty. Um, so you are being charged with the following offences. Okay. So firstly, under San Andreas Code, Title 2.2.1, you are being charged with operating an unregistered vehicle. This violation carries a penalty of $500. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. I do need you to acknowledge these, sir. Uh, secondly, you are being charged with under San Andreas Code, Title 1.8.4, which is going to be charging with a felony evading a peace officer. This is a serious offence, which carries a penalty of 400 months in jail. Additionally, as a result of these charges, upon your conviction of going through the court system, your status as a felon will result in your revocation of your firearms license, meaning that you will not be able to own or purchase a firearm in the future. Okay. Okay. So just to remind you of your rights, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say begins in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights that I have read to you today? Yes, sir. Awesome. So I'm going to get you booked and charged for the 400 months that you're going to be going off for. And that upon your release, you will then get received the citation for $500 as well. Any questions or queries today, sir? No, sir. Awesome. Sit tight for me for a couple of minutes whilst we get you sorted. Now, this one here. It's going to be Diaz. We are booking him for 400, which is going to be a San Andreas code. 2.2.1 operating an unregistered vehicle and San Andreas code 1.8.4 the felony evading a peace officer finalized and there we go he's gone off to jail Alrighty guys, so I think that's probably going to call it for now. Um, we've had a couple of cool scenes, um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll uh, see you on the next video. Uh, don't forget, if you do want to join the community, the link will be in the description below. Uh, any questions or queries, feel free to uh, drop, a, drop us a message, uh, or drop a comment in the below. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new kind of series that we're going to be doing. Oh, fuck's sake, brother. 